Is archaeology like a crime scene investigation? Archaeology and crime scene investigations both search for clues about what people did in the past, but they work with different time depths of study, leading to other differences in their scientific questions and procedures. The clues can be hundreds or thousands of years old in archaeology, yet they tend to be much more recent in crime scene investigations. At a crime scene, the range of potential evidence can be extensive in the physical, biological, and other aspects. The clues refer to specific actions that can be linked with individual people. In archaeology, the surviving material evidence reveals only a partial picture of the most durable material remnants from the past. The clues refer to the overall patterns and trends in the conglomerations of artifacts and debris at a site. At a crime scene, the end result of a criminal event already is known, and the scientific procedures are aimed at learning the details of who was responsible. The investigators start with knowing the outcome of what happened, the location where the crime occurred, and approximately when the event occurred. The next steps work toward establishing the details of what specific actions and circumstances had led to the known outcome. Ideally, at least some of this evidence can point to who was responsible for the outcome. In archaeology, the process starts with searching for a place where ancient evidence can be found. Even after a site can be identified, the investigation still would need to establish the basic facts about what happened here and when these events occurred. In nearly all known archaeological sites, multiple events occurred over long time spans and across large spaces. The major investigation effort aims to establish these basic parameters, ideally revealing patterns and trends in the evidence. Possible next steps might consider how and why people acted in the ways that created the patterns and trends in the surviving evidence. In some rare archaeological sites, the evidence has been preserved in exceptional condition, in ice, in a peat bog, or beneath a volcanic ash layer. The preservation condition can be suitable for some of the medical and forensic procedures that are practiced in crime scene investigations of well-preserved modern evidence. These scenarios should be recognized as rare exceptions from the usual circumstances at ancient sites. Usually in archaeology, only the most durable materials have been preserved, and they can be found today in scattered fragments and remnants. In particular, most archaeological sites contain no human remains or traces, and therefore they are missing the major focus at most crime scene investigations. Even when investigating an ancient burial site, the typically fragmented skeletal remains do not include tissues, hair, or fingerprints. I should emphasize that most archaeological evidence involves durable objects such as broken pottery, tool fragments, discarded food waste, and stonework ruins. Overall, archaeology and crime scene investigations share similarities in searching for tangible material evidence of past human activities. The time range of those past activities extends much older in archaeology. Therefore, archaeology works with different forms of surviving evidence and can address different scientific questions about the evidence. In concluding this episode, what are your thoughts about the similarities and differences between archaeology and crime scene investigations? What parts would you like to explore more? Thank you for watching here. I will see you in the next video.